Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we have for you another episode of Old School Shoots. Today we have 1993 Rings. We have Atsushi Tamaki, man of Sado Kaiken, but I have yet to see any of his karate fights. I'm going to go seek some of those out if I can. Taking on Young Boy of Rings. Masayuki Naruse with blonde tips, a flat top, and blonde stripes uh, shaved into the side of his head and then dyed. What a look! Uh, Tamaki in black and Muay Thai trunks, whereas our man Masayuki Naruse is in his custom blue and white gear, very snazzy. Naruse had some great looks going through his career. We're, uh, I'm going to be working on a highlight of Masayuki Naruse. So we're going to get all the Naruse looks as we work our way through. Alright, uh, gents have shaken hands. We are ready to fight. Uh, no rounds in this match. Tamaki accepting the traditional rings format. But this is early rings, so that is three rope escapes to every down. Alright, palm strikes out in the open from the fellas. Tamaki trying to work his way in. Low kick. Inside low kick. Padding 1 2 as he's trying to gauge his distance. Inside low kick again. Oh, he's. You can see that legs available. Narose throwing him back. Ooh, doubling up on the kicks there. Very nice. <laughs> but Tamaki landing nice solid kicks to the legs of Masayuki Narose. Alright, while these guys are striking, this and most of the other Rings events can be found over on the Kakutogi Road Patreon. As well as an interview with yours truly, uh, truly, um, our good friend Michael Betts. And I talked for four hours about the formation of Pancras, and sort of the birth of True Shoot in Japan. It was a really good chat, and uh, I'd enjoy for you guys to head over there and read that. Of course you'd have to pay Michael ten bucks, but it's well deserved for the amount of footage and all instructionals and all events that he has there available. Oh, sliding elbow there from Masayuki Naruse. Which leads me to believe that elbows are legal in this particular match, based on the elbow pads both of our fellas are wearing. Speaking of elbow pads, I need to make some. <laughs> Gonna make myself some and uh, try them out. Because I have made them for other people, but I haven't tried them out myself yet. Which is a bit of a waste, in my opinion. Inside low from Tamaki. Outside low from Tamaki. Right in the knee, too. I'm getting the nice snap out of the good uh, shin guards. Good palm strike there from Naruse. Inside low kick that lead leg of Naruse getting peppered by Tamaki. Tamaki into the clinch here, forcing away on the head of Naruse, preventing the takedowns. Oh, and reset. Oh, high kick! <laughs> Naruse just presenting there, like, come climb atop me and meet your doom to Tamaki. Tamaki wanting nothing to do with it because he cannot grapple. He's a Seidou Kaiken guy. He can, he can Kyokushin. That's about it. Although I'm not sure if the Seidou Kaiken guys would object to me calling it Kyokushin, given that uh, there's all of that nonsense going on with the various separations of Kyokushin at the moment. There's IKO 1, there's IKO 2, there's Sado, there's uh, Shin Kyokushin, there's a bunch of other shoot offs. So there's Kudo, and then there's all of the like Kudo subdivisions as well. So Kyokushin, a very fragmented art, which is unfortunate. Given the amount of like thoroughly bad dudes that come out of it. Inside low. Palm strikes from Tamaki. Inside low into palm strikes again. Definitely coming off better in these exchanges. Naruse really having trouble dealing with those palm strikes. They are clipping him in the head. Ooh. Interesting thought there by Naruse. He saw that Tamaki was sort of crouching before coming in with the palm strikes, so he threw up a knee in the middle there to try and dissuade that idea. 
Eats that inside low, lands pump strike. Yeah, I don't think that uh, Narusei's checked a kick yet, which is not good for him. Oh, stuffs a takedown. Front headlock here from Tamaki. Narusei separates out and then tries to stay in range. Yeah, landing some palm strikes down. He's got Tamaki's back up against the ropes, but loses the ropes. Gets backed in himself. In there, Tamaki. Go. あの Hey, spinning pimp hand from uh, Naruse. He's patented strike there. He's a big fan of that one. Look at man's knee in the clinch. Over under, over the ropes there. I see you, Naruse. <laughs> Trying to work into a Smaki grabbing the ropes there. Lands knee to the clinch. Only reason Tamaki did not get thrown just then is because he grabbed a handful of the ropes. Yuji Shimada, what are you doing? I believe that's Shimada. I could be being racist. Misidentifying my Japanese men. But it sounds like Low kick. Shoots in on the low kick. Gets stuffed. Tamaki really dictating this fight at the moment. Nice hook too. Parried the hands, lend a hook around it. Very nice work from Tamaki. Nothing on that low kick. Uh, finally, decent entry onto a takedown for Narusei, but a good sprawl from Tamaki. Uh, Tamaki stays on him. Ah, grabs the ropes to get out of the front headlock. So, two escapes. So it's three escapes to every down, so that's what? 15 lost points before the end of the match. That is a lot of, lot of rope escapes. It's a lot of work to be done. Tamaki body kick there. Nice body kick. Left body kick. Took the wind out of... Oh, there we are. Nice shooting. Nice double. Turns the corner on the double. On top is Naruse. Foot on the ropes for the escape. Oh! So Tamaki may have uncovered the uh, cheat code to early rings, which is you've got 15 points. If you're the superior striker, every time you hit the other guy really hard and you get a down, that's worth three rope escapes. So, you know what you can do? Anytime you get taken down, rather than waste your energy trying to get back up, rather than trying to stuff takedowns, make the other guy burn a bunch of energy trying to get you off your feet. Chew him up on the outside and then just grab the ropes and get stood back up. It's the Gilbert Ivel uh, game plan. <laughs> work for Gilbert, work for uh, Valentine, work for Willie Peters. And right now, it appears to be working for Atsushi Tamaki. As yeah, I said before, absolutely loving uh, Naruse's look here. Sky blue and white gear is very nice. Into over under clinch. Oh, big knee to the head here. Making uh, Tamaki think that he's getting uh, shot on and then engaging him in clinch strikes while he has got nowhere to go. Break. Loses the clinch. The referee looking for some scissors here because some of Tamaki's tape is coming loose. Masayuki Naruse just looked deep and lovingly into the camera there, so I think that's our thumbnail for today. Either that or this, or the referee chewing on uh, Tamaki's tape to get it to tear. Alright, back fighting. Low kick, palm strikes. That lead leg of Naruse. Oh, 
Baits the sprawl, climbs up. Tamaki trying to escape here. Narusei all the way around into Kezukatami. Not full Kezukatami. Checking to see whether or not Tamaki's decided to rope escape yet. Starts cranking on the Kezukatami. Foot on the ropes. Escape. So finally, after however many takedown attempts, he's gotten the worth of one down out of Atsushi Tamaki. Low kick, shove away. Big long front kick from Narise. Obviously, non custom uh, elbow pads for Tamaki here because they are slipping down and moving around. Oh, they're those Velcro ones that you've got to Velcro in place as well rather than just straps. That's no good. This thing's going to move around. Whereas Narise has tray style ones that are just straps. They hold in place if they are well made. Stuffed that takedown. Tamaki asserting dominance. A uh, big forearm smash there on the inside of the clinch. Tamaki taking use of the elbow rules. Inside low. Oh, knee strike on the shot here. Sprawls all the way out on these takedowns. Narusei presenting again. Offering up his back to Tamaki to uh, see whether or not he can get him to engage in grappling. But Tamaki refusing. Says, come back up. We're going to get stood up. <laughs> Narusei adopting a wrestler's pose there. Realizes immediately that it's a terrible idea against a guy who can throw up high kicks to your head. Shoots in, turns corner, lovely double leg there, even though he got like originally hipped on. Ah! And the rope escape again! So look at that! All Tamaki has to do is fall over, put his foot foot out. And he's just undone all the work that uh Narusei has done. And uh, for context, if this was a Pancras match, Tamaki would have one point left. And Naris is not even half done. Another shot. Lovely double leg. Turning all the corner, all the way around. On top. Got him in the middle of the ring. Let's see what uh, Naris can get going from here. Climbing up into Kezukatami. Tamaki pushing away on the face of Naruse. Climbing to all fours. Naruse staying on top. Tamaki rolling to the ropes for the escape. So yeah, for the context. Were this Pancrates at the time, match over, your winner would be Masayuki Naruse. And he's not even half done with Tamaki yet. Tamaki, body punch, nice palm strike over the top there, clipping the back of... Oh, spinning pimp hand from Tamaki as well, spinning elbow back from Naruse. Ooh, <laughs> those open fingers in the face I did not like. Tamaki landed an elbow there into Kezugatami here. The Koshigaruma takedown of... Ah, uh, nice! Escape there from Tamaki, so he pops his head free and then just goes whoop! Puts his foot on the ropes there as Narise comes back on top. Elbow pads all fucked up. Get yourself tray style elbow pads, people. It's too bad that Adams uh, or McDavid don't make them anymore. But! You can get them from iSpots, you can get them from yours truly. Tray style elbow pads, they're the gold standard in my opinion. They don't move the way these do. Oh, big elbow to the head. Low kick here from Tamaki. Another low kick from Tamaki. Shooting in on the double leg is Naruse. Tamaki's got that front headlock. Does Naruse know how to sit out? Like, he's not going to escape from here. He's, he's happy. If he can hook one of... Tamaki's legs, he can come up on top. But the referee's gonna go break. Stand him up. I don't know whether or not that is Yuji Shimada. So, uh, let's err on the size of caution and just continue calling him the referee. Alright, back fighting. Bloody nose for Naruse there from all the strikes he's been eating from Tamaki. I think from that elbow. In the clinch, might have busted him open. 
low kick palm strike up top from Narase. Interesting kick there. Trying to Haragoshi across, but without any grips, so you're not going to get anything there. Mr. Narase shoots the double. Tamaki sprawling, doing his best to sprawl down onto the low sink. Ah! Just lays down for him and goes, yep! Time to stand back up. You burned a lot of energy there, my friend Narase. What are you going to do about it? Although uh, Tamaki's starting to look a little bit worse for wear himself. Palm strike up top. Worried about Tamaki's palm strikes because his fingers are splayed on them. They're not a, a solid unit, so I'm worried about him poking Narase in the eyeballs. That was a pretty shit takedown attempt there, Narase. Tamaki's looking at him with disrespect after that one. Both fellas slowing down a little bit here. Ooh, good elbow. Ooh, big knee from Tamaki too. Another big knee. Low kick from inside the clinch. Shooting in on the takedown. Turns all the way over on it. Ah, the rope escape! <laughs> Look at the face that Narase just made when uh, he saw Tamaki grab the ropes. He was like, fuck, not again. <laughs> I'll do this shit again. Backfighting. Just bitch slapped there from uh, Tamaki. <laughs> Long front kick. Trying to palm strike up high. Hands on, knees from Naruse. Not good, not good. Big knees, oh, a couple of big knees to the head there from Matsushi Tamaki. Naruse's in on the takedown, but still getting need. Oh, big elbow. Oh, tomahawk elbow attempt there from Tamaki, but it slipped over the top of Naruse's head. Naruse shooting in low on that takedown, getting gripped again. The corner of Tamaki calling for knees there. Hiza, hiza, hiza. I believe that's Nobaki Kakuda, which uh, might be a glimpse into the future for Masayuki Narase. I believe we've already done that one on old school shoots. Because, like I said, that was a match where I couldn't tell. Front headlock here from Tamaki. Narase baffled, stuck, backing out of it. Oh, climb up, Narase, climb up! There we are, Narase's on top. Break. Break called by the referee. It's a bit shitty. Narase just did all that work to get on top. Alright, getting them wiped down. Getting the blood wiped off his schnoz. Narase keeps walking to his corner before each uh, restart. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to just, you know, maintain dominance. Long body punch attempt there from Narase. Inside low kick, palm strikes. Definitely slowing down from Tamaki until he gets uh, Narase backed up. Then he starts going ham. Nice shot from Narase. Lots of energy burned on that one. Gets him taken down. But Tamaki's right there. The ropes are right there. You gotta drag him away, Narase. Get him away from them. Ah, grabs the ropes. Three down. That is nine rope escapes. Look how gassed Narase is, just sucking wind. Alright, elbow over the top from Tamaki. Tamaki hasn't gotten any downs yet, he's beaten up Narase, but he hasn't landed any concussive strikes. I think Narase was thinking about flying scissors there, but just ended up presenting. A uh, spinning pimp hand attempt from Tamaki. Nice knee tap double that time from Masayuki Narase. Burned a lot less energy on that one. Tamaki not getting as much energy into defending these either, so they're becoming a bit easier for... Ah! <laughs> but the ropes! The ropes are always there! The ring's too small! You have seen two Pancrase matches worth of rope escapes. Heaving in the oxygen is... <laughs> Narase karate poses. Oh! Goes for the cartwheel toehold attempt here. He's in, he's in on that leg. He doesn't have anything secure, and, 
Oh, there we are. Fun crawl. All the way through. All the way through. All the way through, Narase. Narase on top. It's that north south for the freaky mount. Tamaki scooch into the ropes. Narase. Gotta get something going here. Great look at the stitching of the kick pads of Tamaki there. I'm not sure why the guys, some makers, put a seam down the middle of the front of the kick pads that gets reinforced with uh, quill tape on the back. I do not do that. Uh, my kick pads one solid piece. I believe it's to save on leather. Oh, there we are. For <laughs> Rope escapes. <laughs> and look how mad about it. Narase is. Get back up, Cesare. Those uh, dots for Tamaki looking full. Alright. Low kicks. Palm strike up top. Another palm strike up top. Ooh, elbow in there. That's the place to go. Get back in Tamaki and elbow him to death. Front kick to the body. Knee to the head. Another knee to the head. Take down. Tamaki working on stuff in this one. Backs up. Let's Narase return to standing, which is a bit of work. He uses the ropes to help him get back up. Palm strike to the head from Tamaki. Body kick, palm strikes, elbows. Oh, dick kick? Nothing seen by the referee. Sucking in some deep ones is Narase. Inside low kick, catches the leg, and gets tomahawk elbowed in the back of the head. Staffed! Get back up, Narase! You're not done! Backs himself up to the ropes. Oh, big knee to the head. Another one of those, Tamaki. Oh, rolls through on the takedown again. Tamaki reaching for the ropes here. Rolls into the rope escape. So he's just got to do three more of that. Or, you know, actually finish his submission. <laughs> Big knee to the head. Narase catches it, but it slips out. Another one. Catches this one. Shoots in on the single. Tamaki going to body lock. Can he make Narase burn energy here? Rubbing his face into the uh, lower back and butt cheek of Narase. Tamaki stuffs that one. Backstanding. All he's got to do is kick Narase in the body hard once. Narase busted open. Bloody. Good palm strike there. Sees the duck attempt. Narase shooting in. Gets that reverse hook on the leg. The reverse single. Fucking who does those? Fucking Ryan Hall! Narase out here doing Ryan Hall shit in 1993. Every time someone says this is new, this is, this is innovative, this is something we've never seen in Jiu Jitsu before. Fucking, I guarantee a Japanese professional wrestler was doing it in 1993. <laughs> High kicks from Tamaki. Low shot from uh, Narase. Narase waving off a high kick earlier on. Finishes the takedown up on top. Climbing out of the, uh, not even guillotine attempt, just headlock attempt here from Tamaki. Tamaki grabs the ropes. Two more yells Mitsuya Nagai from the side. Right. Low kick palm strike there from Tamaki. Slips out of the way. Rolling thunder attempt. Oh no, he's on the bottom. Narase on top. Grabs a... Uh... Americana here, top wrist lock. Foot on the ropes from Matsushi Tamaki. One more! One more, Narase! Oh, 
Alright, here we go. Low kick from Tamaki. Palm strikes from Tamaki. Getting... Working hard. He understands this is his last, absolute last shot. And finally, uh, low resistance takedown here from Masayuki Narase. Climbing up into Kezagatami. Trying to separate the grips of Atsushi Tamaki. Tamaki has nothing left. No rope escapes. No doubts. Narase. Working his way up here. Trying to separate the grips. Climbing up in the mount. Naruse chant the crowd. A dueling chants, Tamaki and Naruse. Trying to separate out one hand, the sliding his forearm over Tamaki's face. Smart. Uh, goes, climbs all the way over into side control. Cranking, cranking the Kesuka's army. For the final rope escape and the TKO. 24 minutes of nonsense and pandemonium. And your winner is Masayuki Naruse, who can barely stand. Alright. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in to the Gentleman's Combatives channel. I hope you enjoyed that particular episode of Old School Shoots. I certainly did. And I shall be seeing you all next time.